One of the honors projects that I've been involved with with students, which I think they got the most excited about, was a, a project that involved radio tracking rattlesnakes on campus. Um, a number of uh, years ago, we had a quote unquote rattlesnake problem on campus, um, and we're debating what to do about the fact that we had rattlesnakes and people sort of cohabiting the same space. And so um, we decided that one of the best things we could do was use this as an opportunity for students to apply science. And we bought radio transmitters and we surgically implanted them inside the rattlesnakes. And then the students would locate the snakes each and every day. And we did this for a number of years. Um, and then in the end, the students were able to map the activity ranges of these snakes, um, look at their behavior in different seasons of the year. We recorded births and mating. Um, we looked at mortality of the rattlesnakes on our campus, and it was just a, a, an amazing project. I think students were excited. Part of it's because it was rattlesnakes, but part of it is because they were doing science, and they actually analyzed data, um, gave presentations, uh, went to meetings and presented their findings there, which is, is really novel for students at a community college. This evening, I'll be sharing with you one of the most exciting projects um, that my students have experienced in communication. This is the Dr. Seuss birthday event for homeless children. Our honor students plan, implement, and execute the entire event. And what we do is we basically hold a birthday party for Dr. Seuss for 215 homeless children in the valley. And we prepare fun and educational activities ranging from reading corner, games, music, um, and a variety of other things, which of course includes singing happy birthday to Dr. Seuss and birthday cake for the homeless children. Well, this project deepens students' understanding in the field of communication by providing them a hands-on avenue to experience brainstorming, group leadership, implementing a special event um, for the community, making an event come alive from conception, from theory all the way to, to bringing the event alive for the community. and to do so in a meaningful way to enrich the lives of others. I became involved with honors because it directly correlates with my own teaching philosophy, which is to be able to provide opportunities for students beyond the classroom. I feel that with our honors program, our students experience the opportunity to practice what they learn and take it, out, take it outside the classroom in a practical sense with lasting effects. My honors class has decided to do a project, um, their research project or term project on uh, ban the bottle, sort of bringing an awareness to the plastics use or overuse of plastics in the world and how many of those plastics actually end up in the ocean. And one of their goals was to figure out how much plastic we actually use on our own campus and they decided to ban the bottle by collecting bottles from students and faculty and staff across our campus. So they generated about an 18 foot tall um, bottle made out of PVC and wiring, uh, fencing, and started collecting around campus. Uh, they did research to find out what could be recycled. Can the caps be recycled on the bottles or just the bottles alone? So we ended up collecting over 4,000 bottles from our campus alone in the eight-week process. So this was really exciting for the students and it made them very aware of their own personal use of plastic bottles, how much plastic waste they were producing, where it actually went or ended up, how it could be recycled. And so it had a lot of things that were win-win. They learned the, the research process um, and they got to contribute to their own campus and really feel like they made a difference. So. I'd, I'd found a and a, a ruin up in the superstition wilderness that I wanted to uh, explore and map. And so uh, we wrote a grant uh, to get some money and we took uh, six students out into the superstition wilderness, uh, Dennis Wilson in biology and myself, to map this ruin here. It's called the Circle Stone Ruin. I'm, uh, I'm also a historian and so the project is is anthropological, historical, biological, and communication. Uh, Mesa Community College students proved that this main ruin is a calendar, if whatever else it is. And so we've not only done the Circle Stone Project, we did a museum 
a case from an archaeological dig. For me, uh, the key to mentoring honor students is, is developing that uh, relationship. Uh, I work one-on-one -on -one with, with the honor students that I work with. We have a student this semester that's doing an honors project in collaboration with both the math department and the life science department here on campus. Um, in this project, we're meeting with different Arizona Game and Fish department officials and we're creating a project that um, basically we're um, capturing, marking, releasing, and then recapturing the endangered fish in the Sienega Pond to determine population estimates. Once we obtain the data, my honor student is going to use that data and use some statistical techniques to estimate the population of the pupfish here in the Cienega at the Red Mountain campus. After that, he will be uh, writing a paper for the Arizona Game of Fish that they can distribute to other schools. This paper will uh, include the details of our mark and recapture process and give them the technique that they can use to emulate this process so that they can estimate the population of their pupfish populations in their ponds as well.